Hello, welcome to a dental review. Today I'm going to demonstrate different classes of cavities. Well, basically there are six classes of cavities. And uh, there are class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5 and class 6. So we start with the class 1 cavity. So class 1 cavity include all pit and fissures areas. So basically there are three types of class 1 cavity there. First one is it include all it uh, include occlusal surface of the posterior tooth. Uh, <clears throat> like uh, if the caries start on the occlusal surface, then it is termed as a class 1 cavity. If uh, cavity occur in any of these areas, then we call it class 1 cavity. Second one is if the caries start on the buccal surface and lingual surface. This is a buccal surface and this is a lingual surface. Uh, if the caries are present on any of these areas, then it is also class 1 cavity. Similarly, for maxillary incisors, if the caries occur on the palatal aspect, that is lingually, then it is also called class 1 cavity. So, these are the class 1 cavity. So, let's go for class 2 cavity. So, class 2 cavities occur on the proximal surface of the posterior tooth. So, posterior tooth are premolars and molar right so proximal this is a proximal surface so there are the surface between two teeth suppose this is a one teeth and here i have another teeth so the space between them are called interproximal space and uh, and uh, this is called proximal area surface so if the class if the caries is present on the proximal surface this is the proximal surface of posterior tooth that it is called class one, class two cavity. So this that's it. And for class three cavity, it is similar with the class two cavity, but it's on the proximal surface for anterior teeth. What are anterior teeth? They are central incisor, lateral incisor, and canine, right? So if the caries are present on the mm, proximal area of the uh, anterior tooth, then they are called class three cavity. So that's it class 3 cavity and for class 4 cavity so class 4 cavity if the caries start on the proximal surface this is the proximal and it gradually spread up to the occlusal surface occlusal surface then it is called class 4 cavity and similar happen with the anterior tooth if the caries start on the proximal surface of the anterior tooth then spread on the incisal edge. It, there won't be occlusal surface, but there would be incisal edge. Then it is class 4 cavity. So these are the class 4 cavities. And for class 5 cavities, um, a tooth can be divided into occlusal third, medial third, and gingival third. So if the caries occur on the gingival third, this is a gingival third. If the caries occur on the gingival third, then it is called class 5 cavity. And for class 6 cavity, if the caries occur on the tip of the cusp, these are the cusp, right? So if it occur on the tip of the cusp or on the incisal edge of the anterior teeth, then it is class 6 cavity. So these are the different classes of cavity. So a quick review. Then. So class 1 cavity include all pit and fissures area. And there are three classes of cav class 1 cavity. They are on the occlusal surface and on the buccals and lingual surface. And on for maxillary incisor, they are occur on the palatal surface, right? And the class 2 cavity occur, occur on the proximal surface of posterior tooth, that is premolar and molar. And class 3 cavity occur on the proximal surface, but for anterior teeth. And the class 4 cavity occur on the proximal surface and it gradually spread up to the occlusal surface or incisal area. Then it is class 4 cavities. And for class 5 cavity, if it occur on the gingival third, then it is class 5 cavity. And similar to class 6 cavity, tip of the cusp. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to show some pictures and we're going to identify what kind of cavity it is. So here I have some pictures and we'll see okay so the first one here is here yeah. what do you think it is okay it's a class 1 cavity because you see the caries are on the occlusal surface it's 
Tom the Oculus of Surprise of Posture Tooth. So it's a class 1 cavity. And this one. This one. What do you think it is? It is a class 2 cavity. Because the caries are present between two teeth that's on the proximal surface. And that's for the posterior tooth. It's a premolar and I mean molar and premolar, right? So it's between two teeth, so it's a class two cavity. And here what do you think it is? Look at the caries. It's on the proximal surface, right? But for the anterior tooth, that is it's a incisor and lateral incisor so it's a class 3 cavity because class 3 cavities are occur on the proximal surface of the incisor i mean anterior teeth right so it's a class 3 cavity so what do you think it is this one look this look like class 3 cavity but it's a class 4 cavity because the caries had mm, occur on the proximal surface of anterior teeth but it has also spread up to incisal lines because you can see the incisal portion is missing which means it has been broken due to caries so it's a class 4 cavity and and this one it's a class 5 cavity because uh, it has occurred in gingival third and of course this one it's a class 6 cavity because the caries has occur on the tip of the cusp. So here's the another picture I have. And uh, we're going to identify the same thing in here. So the first one, what do you think it is? This one. It's a class 1 cavity because it's on the occlusal surface. Look, the caries are on the occlusal surface. And... It's also on the lingual surface. Look, I told you lingually or buccally. If the caries are present on the lingual or buccal, it is also a class 1 cavity, right? So, this is a class 1 cavity because, look, this is not proximal surface because proximal surfaces are only present between two teeth. This is a either buccal, I think it's a buccal surface, yeah, buccal surface. So, it's a class 1 cavity. <coughs> and this one it's of course class 2 cavity because this is a proximal surface this one so the caries is present between two teeth that is on the proximal surface for posterior tooth right so it's a class 2 cavity and of course this one it's on the proximal surface right that is between two teeth but mm, it's only on the proximal surface so it's a class 3 cavity Be and it's on the anterior tooth. The caries hasn't spread to incisal. Look, it's very clean in incisal. So it's only on the proximal surface. So it's a class three cavity. And what do you think it is? This one. This one's look like class three cavity, but it's a class four cavity because the caries has occurred in inside. I mean proximal surface, and also the it has occurred in uh, incisal. Look the incisal portion is also missing in here so we could call it class 4 cavity and here class 6 cavity class 5 cavity because it has occurred in the gingival third you can if you divide the tooth then it's on the gingival third so it's a class 5 cavity and this one it's on the tip of the cusp somehow it's on the tip of the cusp and it's a class 6 cavity so that's it